Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Mission Options Episode 2. And in this episode, we are going to discuss about the people who are in the stock market. What are the different category of people, particularly in derivatives market? Cash market is something like all other markets. You can buy gold. When the gold appreciates in future, you sell. You buy the land. When the price appreciates in future, you sell. So the same way is shares also you buy. When the price goes up in future, you sell. So that's a different story. But we are more interested in derivatives. So in these derivatives, there are a lot of people. And those people can be classified into three groups. One, arbitrages. Two, hedges and three speculators. So in this video, we are going to discuss in detail about arbitrages and hedges we are going to discuss in the next video and speculators is very simple. Maybe we can cover in this video itself. So what is arbitrages? First, let us look at the definition of arbitrage. The simultaneous buying and selling of securities, currency or commodities in different markets or in derivative forms in order to take advantage of the difference in the prices for the same asset. The definition seems to be uh, more confusing and let me explain in simple terms. Same product in two different markets is trading at two different prices. In one market you buy, in another market you sell. So the difference in the price is your profit. And remember, in this transaction, absolutely there is no risk. Uh, just to give you a simple example, I went to wholesale market for buying some vegetables and that time I checked the prices. What is 1 kg of tomato? They said 1 kg of tomato is 50 rupees. And that time my wife called me and she has 1 kg of tomato in the house. The neighbor wanted tomato urgently. He went to the neighborhood shop, asked for the price. The neighborhood shop said the price is 60 rupees, but the thing is they don't have the stock. And my neighbor came down to my wife and said, I need tomato urgently. And I checked with the neighborhood shop. They said it is 60 rupees. So I'm ready to pay you 60 rupees. Can you give me one kg of tomato? Then my wife asked me, can I give the tomato to them? Then I'm standing in the wholesale market and I check the price, one kg of tomato is 50 rupees. So what I'm doing, I'm telling my wife to sell that one kg of tomato for 60 rupees. At the same time, I'm buying from the wholesale market at 50 rupees. So in this case, I'm making a profit of rupees 10 per kg. And in this transaction, absolutely no risk. So this is called arbitrage. And those days, now, arbitrage is not an easy job, but those days in India, there were so many stock exchanges. Bombay Stock Exchange, Calcutta Stock Exchange, Chennai Stock Exchange. And those days, there were no online trading and people actually buy and sell going to the floor of the stock exchange. So that time, some people do this type of things. A same share. For example, Reliance Industries may be trading at 100 rupees in Bombay Stock Exchange, may be trading at 105 rupees in Madras Stock Exchange. So what these people will do, they will buy 100 shares at 100 rupees in Bombay Stock Exchange and the same 100 shares they will be selling for 105 rupees in Madras Stock Exchange. So the difference of 5 rupees per share is their profit. But now with so much of advancement in technology and algos, computers are tracking even the very small difference in the prices and algos taking uh, the opportunity and therefore doing arbitraging manually becomes a bit difficult now. And let me explain to you another arbitrage opportunity. In the first video, I explained what is forward contract. And in this video, 
I have explained what is arbitrage. And combining both, how I made a decent profit in my life, I am going to explain to you now. About 25 years before, I was working in Singapore. And that time, India faced a lot of economic problems and the Indian foreign reserves was very little. And because of that, the banks gave higher interest rate for NRIs. And those days, we used to have a account called NRNR, non-resident, non-repatriable. So if you put the money in fixed deposit, NRNR fixed deposit, we used to get much higher interest rate than the local people FD. And believe me, in 1995, I think, I put FD in NRNR for 20% interest. Since I was working in Singapore, Singapore being a developed economy, and I could get a loan at the rate of 3% per annum interest rate. But here I check interest rate is 20%. So I am borrowing at the rate of 3% in one country. I am putting the deposit of at the rate of 20% in another country. So there I am going to pay 3%. Here I am going to get 20% and absolutely no risk. So the difference of 17% is the arbitrage profit. But I said absolutely no risk. That is actually wrong. There is one risk because the Singapore dollar and Indian rupees may not be trading at the same exchange rate for the next three years. I place the FD for three years. I put 10 lakh rupees and I got about 17.5 lakh rupees after three years in India. The exchange rate may not be trading at the same price. So what I did with one of my friends, I made a forward contract. So in that forward contract, I have hedged this position. And of course, I had to lose about 2% every year for in that forward contract. So I borrowed at the rate of 3% and I did the hedging using the forward contract as 2%. So totally I paid 5% interest but I got 20% interest in India. So the remaining 15% is a sure shot profit without any risk. So even now, I know many people are doing it. And nowadays, even the banks themselves, they come out of this kind of things. And they assure the people, let us say from US, they tell them you convert the money into Indian rupee, we put the money in NRE deposits and then we will use the forward contract or futures contract to hedge the currency risk and still they get better return in US dollars. So I will explain all these things in another video. So right now what we have discussed arbitrage and arbitrage means same product selling at two different prices in two different market. So where it is selling at a higher price, you sell. Where it is trading at lower price, you buy. So you make a profit. So this is arbitrage and hedging we will discuss later. And speculation is nothing. So people speculate. If people expect market to go up, they buy. If the people expect market to go down, they sell. So that is called speculation. So why speculation is more riskier? What is the risk reward? All that we will discuss in another video. Thank you for watching.